What's going on guys? Living Legend here and we are doing Crota's End. I'm trying to show you how to do it solo as a hunter. What I recommend you do is use the Zalo Supercell and the Don't Touch Me. You'll soon see that's why. Don't use the Don't Touch Me. Run! Run! Okay, in this instance I don't usually... Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Curse Thrall. Okay guys, I tried making a video earlier. I restarted it because I died many times. And I've done this very easily. Not die. I've done this level very easily. This raid by myself. I've actually ran through the whole course without dying. At all. Okay, that was a major glitch. Melee me. Seriously, you don't see me? I'm right here. Whatever. Okay, at this point, I am going to turn around and shoot the train. Do not worry about the heavy ammo. I do not worry about any of the ammo, really. Just ignore it. I know I picked it up. I'm telling you just to ignore it. Because I'm the professional at this. I usually don't have to turn around and shoot, but the uh, this round, I don't know, this one seems a little bit tougher for me. I don't know why. Don't shoot, don't. Okay, this is where I shoot. Good night, where are they all coming from? Good night, I've never seen so many in this level before. Thank you. I am leaving now. Okay, I know there's a hole right there. There's one up here somewhere. Let's see, I go this way. Yeah, there's a hole right up there. Turning invisible definitely helps you see in this dark, dark, dark area. Let's just wait till my weight of darkness goes down a little bit. And now we'll run. I know I'm not invisible, just run. We're almost at the safety part. We're almost there, guys. Alright, even though I'm invisible, I'm gonna kneel down so that when my visibility wears off. Yeah, there we go. It'll just pop right back. Okay, this is why you turn invisible, because that's a gigantic knight. Okay, he's not that big, but still. I go up there, right? Yeah. Um. Seriously. Go ahead, clean your blade. I'll just go kill your master. Oh, oh, now, now you see me. Not when I was literally could see the scales on your back. Yeah, not, no, let's let's go after him now. There is the other one. Okay, where's the hole? Where's the hole? There's a hole. There's a hole. There's always a hole. Again, just kneel down. Even though you're invisible. Why you're invisible? Thank you. Alright guys, this is the last light right here. You're going to want to make sure that you get enough so that you can do a single jump. So, just stay right here. Okay. Run over to this plate. Then run back. Get a little bit more light. And see this rock right here? It's right beside it. It's really easy. Just jump on top of it. The light will damage you just a little bit, but it won't completely kill you. Hopefully. Don't kill me. Okay. It didn't even damage you. That's weird. Thank you, rock. Okay. So what you're going to do is, there are thralls all around you. Don't worry. They can't hurt you. What you want to be watching for is the ogre right there. Because he will kill you. And see, all you gotta do is wait. They don't even come close to you, so. I love how I have a dark red cloud over my head. It makes me feel comfortable. I'm dancing to the music.
Look at that, they just don't know what to do. They've never seen this before. Uh, he's not supposed to do that. That's cheating. If it was cheating, I would die. And now, as you can see, the bridge is fully formed and your weight of darkness is off. So just take off in a full on sprint. Because as you can see on my mini map, there's a bunch of enemies behind. But you are not fast enough, enemies. No ho ho. It is too late. I am through. If they kill you right here, guys, that's just stupid. I think it's literally thralls are fast, but they're not that fast. And see, I am free. I guess this guy's is actually the more hard, the harder part. What you're going to want to do is I already have this set up where I have triple jump on it. And I'm going to use my Bones of EO where I can have like a quadruple jump. See like one, two, three, four. And you're going to want to use this for various purposes. One of which I'm about to show you. So just come over here. And there's a sword bearer. You don't have to use the Zala Supercell anymore. Just use a weapon. Just take him down. Pick up the sword. Just bounce along here. And I may die a few times. This is pretty hard. Jump. You want to make sure that when you start having to slice that you're inside the flaming area. Ah! I died. I didn't land on that rock quite right. But make sure you're inside that like flaming area when you stop when you stop jumping. Because if you don't, it will kill you. There's some like barrier wall right there. Okay, let's do this again. One, two, three. I'll probably trim this video because of all the umpteenth deaths. I'll put it in the bloopers. Got it. Okay, let's do this. It's Leapfrog. The Destiny version. Uh-oh. I double jumped too early. Yes, we made it. We finally made it, folks. Okay. So what you want to do is this thing right here. Get behind it. And hey guys, I made it across finally. And uh, I'll trim it so you can see the bloopers of like how I died how many times. Um, I'll put it in another video. But as you can see on my cross... What you're going to want to do now is come over to this lamp right here and just wait. That guy is going to be a big problem if he comes over here. And as you can see, no enemies attack you. So, you're good. Just wait for the ogre. There'll be an ogre that spawns over there. And an ogre that spawns right here. And so, again, just pull out your sniper and shoot him. <clears throat> Whoa! Watch out for the knight. It will kill you. And you cannot kill it. See what? It's immune. The only way to kill it that I think I know of is to kill it with the sword. Or is to kill it with the sword. Not your sword, the one that you get from this level. You cannot use your normal sword on it. Is the ogre coming or not? Die. Don't you dare. Back up! Man, where is he? Do, do, do. I'll just dance so I can see over it. So I don't have a danger of coming around. Yeah, as you see, if they come around, they'll just, like, fall. These aren't. Okay. So, I'll just keep going. Where is the ogre? 
More thralls. Really. See, they come all the way around there, and he just turns around and runs away. The ogre should be here. We got a lot of acolytes over there and a lot of thralls over here. <laughs> Back up! I've never had the sword. The sword bear has never really been a problem till now. I wish he would do like the rest of these thralls and just came out. Yes! Thank you! Now you are no longer a problem. What? Another one? How many of these guys are you? How many brothers do you got? <laughs> Good night. Man, where is the ogre? There he is. Move. Okay. Okay. Whoop. There's one. And there's the other one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This has never happened. Glad thing I have that. That has never happened, guys. That is an exclusive for you. Okay, now everybody will despawn. The ogres are gone. Okay. Now what you want to do, if you have a rocket launcher that shoots two bullets... You're fine. Mine doesn't. Mine has lucky ammo, so I'm just going to fire off a few shots until I get it. Probably shouldn't stand on that. Good night. I just want lucky ammo where I'll have two. There we go. Pick up some extra just in case, so I don't have to use a synthesis. Guys, that's an exclusive for you because that was the most dangerous part I've ever encountered. <laughs> I've seen people do that before on YouTube. Lots of people have done it. Never really as a hunter was why I did this. Okay, here's what you gotta do. Fire. And just keep running. As you can see, the exotic chest with the door is wide open. Just run and jump over it. And you made it through! Barely at that time. Last time I made it pretty, I actually made it across pretty easily. So see, that's how you can solo it. And get the exotic chest. I don't think it'll give me an exotic this time, because I've done this earlier. Let's see if it gives me anything good. Wow, nothing at all. It's because I already did it earlier on today. I, you, I wish this would give you something. Anyways, right here, just jump down here and... Now you're at the part where you fight Crota. I've honestly tried to do this solo. Uh, this part's really, 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 really hard. That's because of those dumbos. They've been a really pain in my butt. Little boogers. Uh, I've tried soloing this. I haven't done it yet. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, see, now that you're at this part, you can invite your friends and you can finish it all. Now you'll actually weep, reap, weep. You'll reap rewards along the way. I didn't get them because I've already done this earlier before I made this video. And so that's how you get to Crota's Inn solo as a hunter. Wait, where'd it go? It's still going. It's still going. It's gone. Alright guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video.